Welcome back to the channel. I forgot to announce something and I feel really bad. Sue, um, I was supposed to like announce about today. I guess it'll be tomorrow when I edit this video and actually get it uploaded, but yeah. I'm editing in this on Wednesday. Why? What is quarantine time even? Um, so today, Sunday, is the online Tokyo Rainbow Pride event. Yay! Um, so, yeah, because Tokyo Rainbow Pride got cancelled, um, instead they moved it online. All you had to do was, like, have a picture where you had, like, a little message and rainbow things. And to show support of, you know, Pride. I meant to like do a video to talk about it and to talk about a whole bunch of queer things and I legitimately forgot. I like lost two days in quarantine. I don't know what happened. I just, I don't know. Time is a very loose concept when all you're doing is staying at home and just staying at home some more till the end of time, it feels like. I also didn't get any sleep last night, so I apologize if I am just, like, super loopy. I legitimately just stayed up all night. I wish I could claim that I did something important. I didn't. I was drawing. Because that's my new project during quarantine, is drawing for some reason. I don't know why. So anyway, um, because I feel bad, and because, like, I do feel as if queer issues are kind of underrepresented in the huge YouTube space, I'm going to talk about some, uh, some, some things you should support. First of all, boom, <laughs> Stonewall Japan. I'm biased, but Stonewall Japan is a community, like, organization. <laughs> Stonewall Japan has been around for quite a bit. Uh, it is a English mainly serving, um, you know, international support group for LGBTQIA plus people. And I am the Kanto East Block leader because nobody took my job. I'm supposed to be at my two term, my two term limit, but guess what? Everyone knew that if they didn't apply, I would still have to have the job. So I'm still getting that job. Yay. So yeah, for now, Kanto East Block leader. Hi, how you doing? Um, in Stonewall Japan, we do a lot of events. We try to host events, try to signpost events. We give out guides uh, right now on our website at stonewalljapan.org. We have sexual health guides and trans uh, guides and so on and so forth. This year, my big project is to try and get education resources up on the website and also trying to get the blog a little spurshed up and then also trying to get accessibility guides, which was originally a different um, members project. It's still their project. I just, I don't want to say their name because I, I don't know if that's okay. So I'm just going to say L. <laughs> the first letter of their name, I guess. But yeah, they originally started this accessibility idea and they wanted to create a guide for accessibility or trying to figure out accessibility for the stonewalljapan.org website or both. And so since I live in Tokyo where there are a plethora of bars and such in Nichome, I said I would help and I'm gonna help with that. So that's not really my project, I guess. That's technically their project, but I'm just like helping, I guess. But yeah, anyway, teamwork. So ongoing projects throughout the year, because I don't know how to fucking stop. I just don't. I just, I just raise my hand and say yes to shit, and then I have to do them. So yeah, if you would consider Stonewall Japan, we try to help out refugees as well who are LGBTQIA plus oriented. Um, most of that is just emailing a lot and trying to get people in with good situations as best we can. Did you know that it helps your case though? That if you want to be an LGBTQIA plus refugee to volunteer with an LGBTQIA plus club or organization so that it looks really good on paper. Fun facts. Stonewalljapan.org, we have uh, kind of lost a lot of fundraising and donation money because 
Tokyo Rainbow Pride in person didn't really happen. We kind of rely on that a lot to get us through the year. Most of our money going into our email services and also trying to like help out with events. Like say somebody wants to put on a really cool like, I don't know, a really cool karaoke event. Like queerioke. That has happened before. In which case we try to either reimburse or to help provide funds for that. Stuff like that. Yay. So uh, if you would like to donate to stonewalljapan.org, it's appreciated. A link will be down below with everything else that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Thanks for tuning in. And this is not over. Sorry, this is not even close to being. So the next thing is the Help Sue the Japanese Government Gender and Marriage featuring the one, the only, the amazing Ellen McCready. If you don't know about Ellen McCready, Ellen McCready was part of the whole Goldfinger thing, which I'm gonna put up here and you can watch it. And then, you know, if you want to leave a hate comment, I keep reporting those and blocking people. It's been fun. So yes, Ellen McCready is now suing the Japanese government to marry her wife. They have actually been married for over 20 years and they have three kids. But did you know, according to Japanese law, in order to be like assigned, a new gender don't get me started um you cannot have kids and you cannot have kids especially under the age of 18 which sucks also you have to be sterilized which is some bullshit of high proportions so yeah no fun shit like that so uh yeah Ellen wants to sue the Japanese government in order for her and her wife Midori to be officially recognized as married considering that they are 20 years like what anyway so they want to get married sue the Japanese government in order to do that they need funds so right now it is sitting at a four thousand six hundred and thirty five dollars out of their twenty one thousand dollar goal so you can help them by going to the link below yet again it's a GoFundMe thing so you do need a credit card but please consider giving and helping to get marriage equality one step in the process recognized by the Japanese government Next on the list is Niji Iro Kazoku, which is Niji Iro Family, not to be confused with Niji Iro Diversity. Niji Iro Diversity is about workplace, and Niji Iro Diversity has like a whole lot of good corporate sponsors behind it, and it's got like, it's safe, basically. Niji Iro Ka <laughs> Japanese. Niji Iro Kazoku is actually about family oriented things. So, Niji Iro, Iro Kazoku kind of doesn't get as many donations as Niji Iro Diversity. It's more family oriented though. It's more about kids, people who are gay with children, people who are lesbian with children, and people who are otherwise mixed families with children are the focus of Niji Iro Kazoku. They actually have books and a whole bunch of things that you can buy and that's good and you should do that. But also you can donate directly to them. They are also going to be suffering from the same problems that Stonewall Japan has, which is that their donation funds that they would usually get from say a, you know, Tokyo Rainbow Pride or a, you know, kind of Pride Walk, that's going to be gone because unfortunately right now all prides are canceled. So Niji Iro Kazoku also like I got to talk to them last no yes last year when I saw them with their kids like at the booths and they were talking to me about how like difficult it kind of was to kind of like ask for money and like last year's Stonewall or like not Stonewall no sorry ugh, last year's Tokyo Rainbow Pride because Tokyo Rainbow Pride also has become kind of corporate nowadays. Like last year, they kind of like shunted off the community place, like off to the back left area. And it was really hard to like get people to come through and walk in. Like so much of it was dedicated to Sony and Google and, you know, like these big name corporations and free stickers. And here's this. But meanwhile, these small little communities that are intended to actually, you know, help communities that are LGBTQIA plus oriented that actually want to help people in need kind of suffer. So it, it holds a special place to my heart because I got to see the families, I guess, and because I got to see the kids as they were playing around and like having a good time. So for this, I would also recommend like, re I'm asking you please to donate to this family, to this rainbow family group, please donate words. That'd be good. Okay. Okay, last but certainly not least is the Equal Marriage Alliance NPO in Japan. 
it does exactly what you think it does. It is basically uh, advocating for legal recognition of same-sex marriage in Japan, as shown up on the website. So the same-sex marriage issue, um, right now there are 47? Oh no, am I right? There are 47 municipalities and prefectures that uh, recognize same-sex partnerships. I should have looked this up on Wikipedia. I'll be back. So yes, right now there are 47 municipalities, 45 municipalities and two prefectures. So the two prefectures being Ibaraki, which was shocking, but represent Ibaraki, my hometown, love you so. And then Osaka prefecture, because Osaka just, I don't know, they just wanted to one up Tokyo however they could, I guess, because Tokyo is still doing municipalities like one by one. I don't know, it just, it, it happened that way. So moving on. Um, so right now that's what's going on but same-sex partnerships like i said they don't allow for the full legal same rights but let's say you wanted to get a life insurance policy and you had to prove that you had a partnership the partnership are only like recognized within a municipality that you get it in like if you go outside of it like to another city municipality that doesn't recognize same-sex you know partnerships then you're not recognized and you don't get the same rights as say a married couple. Um, this can be really tricky for say, like if you want to have a life insurance policy or you want to have visitation rights at a hospital in a certain municipality, you would, and in other municipalities you wouldn't. So you're treated like a near seconds class citizen, basically all the time, even with the partnership thing. So yeah, so marriage is, better like equal marriage is some people in Japan are against the idea of having marriage equality but marriage really in the end is a legal system it is a legal system that is keeping certain people as official like recognized legal protected citizens and then other people are living as kind of secondary citizens as LGBTQ recognized people thanks so you can go and support the equal marriage alliance you can support and join uh, pretty easily online. You can also donate, which is what I suggest you do if you have the money. Donating is pretty easy. All you gotta do is give a 3,000, 5,000, or 10,000 thing through a credit card. You could also do a uh, Fruity Comey, I believe. So you can do, yes, you can. Haha, I found it. So you can also do Fruity Comey at uh, the Mizuho bank thing that they have there. So I will give a link to everything in the description. So yeah. Come and help us queers eventually get married, maybe someday, who knows. Hopefully with enough support from municipalities and prefectures, eventually there will be same-sex marriage. Originally the idea was, oh, with the pressure of the Tokyo Olympics, we will get same-sex marriage. But you know what happened? They got postponed. So with it, the rights of the queers it was also then postponed. It's fine. I'm not bitter. It's fine. It's fine. So some people ask me like, why does marriage matter? Why is marriage a big deal? Why do you care? Here's the thing. A lot of people are like, partnerships, marriage, what's really the difference? And the difference is like right now, let's say you go into a, I don't know, uh, a place like one of the, there's only 45 out of however many municipalities are in Japan, hundreds. And then you go into one that doesn't recognize same-sex partnerships, they tell you that like your partner, who may or may not be positive for COVID-19, may be negative, who knows? But they won't tell you because you're not their partner. Like you don't have a, oh, I'm sorry, you don't have a certificate that shows that you are married? Sorry, you get to sit in the lobby and you're a friend now, family only. Yeah. Kind of scary times. Mm, it would be better to have a spouse. Also, I think a lot of people forget that like some family members, some people really would rather that like their child be dead than queer. Dark, sorry, but true. Like I have a family member who actually like once told my mother which went down really well, that uh, they would rather their child be strung up on drugs than be gay. I'm bisexual. That went down real well. Ooh, was she 
and there's nothing really happening about that in general. Basically, like, marriage gives you that security that when you go to a hospital or when you go to a school and you want to, like, register as parents to a child or you want to be recognized officially in a capacity to get life insurance policies, to get, a, you know, a, to be recognized as, like, the inheritor of an estate marriage gives you that 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 security but if you don't have marriage if you just have a same-sex partnership it's not recognized everywhere and it doesn't give you that full legal help that you would really need and say a time of crisis such as this so yeah that's why marriage is pretty important like at the end of the day we can talk forever about religion and about whether or not god approves but honestly until God comes down from the sky and is telling us what is right and what is wrong, we just have to do what we think is right for the people here and now. And I'm not about to tell anybody that I am God and I say this. No. Also, I'm bisexual, so I'm biased. But anyway. But then on top of all that, um, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're just an SJW Western AFAB person who is trying to destroy Japanese culture. Japanese people want same-sex marriage. I know that's shocking that like gays who are Japanese exist and lesbians who are Japanese exist and and bisexuals who are Japanese exist. Trans Japanese people exist. I know I've met quite a few of them actually but you you need to not. <laughs> Like saying, I've heard that certain conservative YouTubers have tried to say that like they don't exist here. They're just a myth and a legend. <laughs> and I don't. That's wrong. That's just absolutely incorrect. I have gotten extremely drunk with many a queer out in Nichome. That was definitely Japanese. So they're here. They want their rights. They're doing this parade today to stand together in pride for their rights. Or at least to show everybody that they're not alone during a time where some people are trapped with parents who are not queer friendly, who don't approve. Fun times. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Sorry, this is the way it is and I am the way I am. But yes, please do continue to watch uh, if I lost subscribers because this was super queer. Hi, bye. Um, I'm also going to start putting out short videos soon and I'm going to do more news videos, I think, uh, yeah, in the next week. It's going to be a fun time. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that jazz. See you. Bye.